Hello, this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video. If you remember in my last video, I pressed the wrong button and I accidentally summoned a massive eyeball, and it's attacking me. <laughs> I meant to switch to my bow and arrow, and I switched to this eye, and I summoned a boss, and I'm not ready to face a boss. Luckily, I'm here joined by Hickstorm, and oh no, look, we're doing okay. Look at it. It's getting hurt. It is actually getting hurt. I don't know how much I'm doing and how much Hickstorm's doing, but we have done a bit of damage on it. Right, I need health potions. Quick, keep eating the health potions. Oh, quick, eat them. Eat, eat the health potion. I'm dying. There we go. There we go. I got my health up a little bit. Oh, look at it. The eyes opened up. It's got like a big mouth. Oh, it's going after me. It's chasing me down. Why are you attacking me? Attack Hickstone, not me. hickstone has got more armor than me. All right, that's it. Okay, I'm going to have to throw these little ball things at it. Oh, it's not sticky. It's spiky. I kept calling them sticky balls. They're spiky balls. <laughs> that sounds even worse, to be fair. Right, okay. Have another health potion. Just keep eating them as many as you can. Oh, no. Oh, we, we defeated him. We did it. We killed it. Oh, what do we get? What's, what's it dropped? Corrupted seeds. And what was that? Demonite ore or something? Oh, go away, zombies. <laughs> you were no threat. After defeating that massive eye, I have no worries about zombies going after me. Oh, the merchant was slain. Ewan. Oh, no. Something killed Ewan. Why didn't he stay inside the hotel where it was safe? Oh, no. Leave the door shut, Hickstorm. Stop opening the door. I've had enough googlies. Oh, the, the door's gone? Did the did the zombies break the door? All right, okay, let's put that back there. You and you stay inside as well. You stay in. You in, you stay in. I don't know. Okay, well, what, what did I get then? What did it drop? Um, demonite ore. Material can be placed, pulsing with dark energy. When I killed my first boss, uh, I'm pretty sure that there's no way I'd have killed it without Hickstorm being there. You're my hero, Hickstorm. You saved me. Ah, oh, man. That was intense. That was so unexpected. Uh, sorry that uh, I kind of had to split it into two videos. Um, basically, at the end of the last video, as I was signing off, I summoned the eye. And uh, there's no way I was going to be able to just uh, carry on for, like, the whole battle of the eye. So, um, yeah, sorry this is a bit of a sudden um, introduction to this uh, Terraria Let's Play video. Uh, but here I am inside Stampy's wonderful world. Uh, and I'm going to, I don't know, I guess I'm going to carry on building my hotel. I really don't know what to do after that. I don't know how to follow like a big boss battle against a massive eye. Like whatever I do now for the rest of the video, it's not going to be anywhere near as exciting as how it started. But um, I suppose I can get a bit more work done and start uh, sorting out my house properly and um, get myself arranged. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little bit flustered at the moment. Right, okay, so I got some corrupt seeds. Um, should I Should I plant them? Should I plant the corrupt seeds? Is that a good idea? I might go a little bit away from my house and then plant them just in case it, I don't know, it summons another eyeball or something. Let's 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 plant the corrupt seeds down here, shall we? Maybe we're gonna get a corrupt beanstalk or something. How oh, can I not plant them? Okay, maybe maybe I just gotta craft things out of them. Or maybe I can only plant them inside the corruption, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay, let's see if I can I can craft anything new with that. That new material that I found. Oh, that demonite or whatever it's called. Um, uh, what's all this stuff? Uh, anything new? Chinese lantern. Oh, a skull lantern. Uh, what do I use to... Oh, I use bones to make that. Um, chest, bathtub. Anything new? Any new things I can craft at all? Uh, what's that there? Oh, a throne! I could make a throne! I want a throne. I want a throne in my bedroom. Oh, I could also make all of these as well. I want to, I want to make some of them. They, they look really cool, like ones hanging from the ceiling. Um, bucket, chain... Surely... Oh, demonite bar. I need to be near, near my furnace, though. There we go. I guess once I've made these, then I can craft new things with these demonite bars. Uh, I, didn't get I didn't get very many of them. Like, do I have to fight an eye every time I want more of that stuff? Because <laughs> that wasn't an easy battle. I'm just so glad Hickstorm was there. Um, Alright, is there anything new I can make then? Surely there's got to be something I can use. Can I make, like, swords and stuff out of it, do you reckon? Can I make, like, demon weapons? Uh, where, where's swords? Here. Wooden sword, copper, gold. Ooh, lights, lights, Bane. Um, okay, I just need to be near an anvil, then I can make a new type of sword. Oh, what did I just find then? I just picked something else up as well. All, all of these new things getting thrown at me. Was that a bomb? Was that a bomb lying on my floor? I hope not. I hope no one left a bomb lying around on my floor. And I can't believe Ewan died as well. I'm going to have to have a grave for him somewhere. I don't know, maybe a gravestone just appeared for him anyway. <laughs> like when you die in the game, just a gravestone appears. Right, what can I make then? Um, 
Demon, a light bane. Can I make like a broadsword version? I don't. I don't think I can. I think that I can only make that one type there. Right. What does it do then? Seventeen melee damage. Is that better than my my gold sword? It is. It is better. That one's only eleven. My my gold one. Let's make that. Let's make light bane then. Ah, oh, let's check it out. I got myself a new sword. Um. Right. How how do I equip it then? Right. Here it is. Upgrade. Get out of here, gold sword. I'm just gonna do it into my quick select bar as well. There we go. Check this out. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a swingy one as well. I thought it was going to be a jabber, but it's a swinger. Check out my new sword, Hickstorm. Don't I look lovely? <laughs> I love my orange suit as well. I'm actually wearing copper armor, which is why I look so bright and orange, but I kind of just look sunburned. And there's the super gerbil again. Woo! Super gerbil to the rescue! <laughs> I love the way it just flies around. Oh, I, I really need to get myself a pet. Okay, anyway, let's carry on with my room then, shall we? Okay, so this is going to be... Uh, my magic room up here. I've, I've, I've put all this in the wrong room, actually. Uh, I'm going to get rid of uh, this here and uh, the barrel as well. And I'm going to put them one room above because uh, that's going to be where my magic room is here. This is where I'm going to do all my, my brewing and making my uh, magical potions, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to put down... Uh, the table just somewhere in here. I mean, I can rearrange things better a bit later on, but for now, I kind of want to. I kind of just want to empty out my inventory and just shove as much stuff down as I can. Okay, so then I need. Uh, I'm gonna put down a barrel as well, uh, just so I can put all like my potions and stuff in there. And so let me just put like something in there, just so it doesn't feel wasted. Let's put. Um, let's let's put a few of these in. Let's let's take. How do I just take one? There we go. Let's put one of them in there. There we go. It's a potion barrel now, rather than just a barrel because it's got one potion in. And I can put my bench down. And why are the slimes in? Hickstum, stop leaving the door open. Stop letting the place get infested with slimes. <laughs> why are both doors open on both sides? Right. Okay. I can have a little park here, a little garden. Uh, I'm not going to do a love garden or anything like that in Terraria because I don't know. I think that's kind of a Minecraft thing. But I can have a nice little resting area here. Put a nice little bench down so I can sit down. Might plant a few trees later on. Put down some acorns. And um, right, I got a keg. I got a mannequin as well. I might make like a like a trophy room, like a kind of like a display room type thing. And then I can put all of my armor and my mannequin and stuff all in there. Uh, so let, let's go do that now, shall we? Let, let's extend up. I need to keep going higher. There's a lot of rooms I need to make. And oh, look, Ewan's tried to move into my room. He's put a flag up in here. That's my room. How dare you? <laughs> oh, well, I, I think he's gone now. How, how do I how do I see him? Oh, no, look, he's come back. I got a new merchant. Did you see that on the horizon? If I go back to the map here. Look, there he is. Look, he's on his way. And there's a bunch of slimes in his way. I need to go protect him. I come, I come help him out with my new sword. I don't know if he's going to be Ewan or like another guy. Oh, he's called Milton. I got Milton now. Come on, Milton. <laughs> Ewan's replacement. <laughs> it didn't take long for a new one to show up. Go and come up. Come move into my bedroom, why don't you? Seems like you already planned to. No, Zach's here getting owned by a slime. Zach, if you stay inside the hotel, you're going to be safe. If you run outside the hotel and you get killed, that's your own fault. You're supposed to be the guide. You're supposed to be the person telling me this. Smashing a shadow orb will sometimes cause a meteor to fall out the sky. Shadow orbs can be uh, usually be found in chasms around corrupted areas. Uh, there's actually a corrupted area to my right. Uh, if you look on the map here, there's a place called the Corruption, uh, which is all purpley. Uh, where is it? There we go. And uh, when I'm stronger, I'm actually going to go down there into one of those chasms to try and find uh, some more stuff. And look at my house! Look, it actually looks good on the map now. You can see, like, all of my stuff that's inside. It looks quite cool. <laughs> right, okay, let, let's start Let's start extending then. Let's keep building up. I might as well do these, these two next rooms here. Uh, they don't take long to do each room, to be fair. Uh, but I much enjoy adding the, the furniture and putting all this stuff inside rather than building the actual shell of the house. Uh, but I think now that I'm kind of doing both sides, it's going to be a lot easier. I can kind of just here go, like, the whole way along, can't I? Then I just need my doorway, which needs to be three blocks high. So I can just do that there. And then I do the same here. If I do that, then I'm just going to destroy those blocks again. And then do up the same on the other side. 
And uh, hopefully Hickstorm's going to see what I'm doing and he's going to help me out and start uh, placing down a few blocks as well. And is there a slime in my house again? Was the door left open again? Actually, I'm not going to moan because I think it might have actually been me who left the door open. So I won't complain. <laughs> I just don't want the next merchant to die. I've already killed one merchant. I haven't actually spoke to him yet. I haven't actually seen what they do. I, I mean, I'm guessing that I can trade stuff with them and get new stuff, I'm assuming. Uh, wh where's he gone though? Right, let's get rid of these slimes. Get out my house. Get out my crafting room. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's leave these doors shut, shall we? Uh, where's, where's the merchant gone? Oh, and what's that? Oh, we've got a Spelunker potion. Where am I getting all this stuff from? Shows the location of treasure and ore. That is very, very useful. I'm definitely going to have to use that next time I, um, I go hunting. And why have you enabled PvP? Stop trying to attack me, Hickster! <laughs> you bully! Right, okay, let's, um, let's carry on building up here. And then I just need to go and make a load more walls and uh, fill in the inside. Do I have some walls? Oh, there we go. I got I got four wooden walls. <laughs> now, I do have plenty of wood, though, so I should be okay. Um, right, let's go craft some more. My house is getting a lot more confusing. It's a bit of a mess. I've made it realistically like what my own house is like, which is a bit of a mess. Things everywhere, all over the floor. <laughs> the amount of times people have like asked me whether I use my floor as a laundry basket. <laughs> I, I, I do live in a bit of a messy house. <laughs> it's my, my bad though. What's this? Planked wool? Like every time I go to craft something, I see something else new that I could I can craft that I didn't know existed before. This is, this is like the most exciting time. Like just learning it all. I think that once... Once you've found out about everything and you've got all the best armor and weapons and stuff, I don't know how, like, exciting this game's still gonna be. Like, with Minecraft, I feel like, in terms of the Xbox version, I feel like I kind of know most things. And I'm not trying to be cocky, but in terms of all the different type of ores and weapons and items and stuff, like, th there's not much that I don't know, you know? There's not too much to learn, and I've been playing it for a year, and I feel like I know most things. But it's still fun because I'm still building new things and trying new things out and uh, it stays exciting. I'm a little bit worried about with this game, once I have made everything and built all my houses and crafted everything, like, how fun will it stay? Like, will it still be fun to stay and keep building? I'm hoping it will be because I'm really enjoying the game so far and hopefully it does have uh, as long as a life as Minecraft will. But uh, for now, it's just exciting finding out all of the new items and the new bosses as well. I can't believe I already killed one boss. <laughs> it completely came out of nowhere. I wasn't ready for it. And leave the door shut. Why are there always slimes getting in? Right, shut the door. I am safe now. Uh, I also need to make um a few more um a few more torches if I can while I'm here. I'd actually need a crafting table for that. I might put down some different coloured torches actually, uh, just because I crafted a few. I might put them down in my room maybe. Actually no, I won't. I'll put them. Uh, I put, put them in the magic room. I put down some, some green torches in the magic room. Because that's kind of like a, a magic-y kind of colour, isn't it? Rather than just the standard red ones. Because uh, it actually makes the room glow in that colour. So yeah, let's put down some some green torches up in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like that. Oh, isn't this mystical? Ooh, the magic room. And what other torches do I have? I swear i got another colour. Oh, I've got some yellow torches as well. I'll uh, put them down... I should put them in this room. I'll put them in my storeroom. Why not? <laughs> it's just to clear out my inventory a little bit if I put them all down. Uh, right, let's put uh, one there, one there, and just for now, <laughs> one on the floor. Why not? And then I can make some more candelabras and some, some stuff hanging from the ceiling. And uh, I need to make some walls, don't I? Did I make any more walls? I swear I made a load of walls just now. Have I used them all up already? Can I see them? One last quick look. Nope. Right, let's go make some more walls then, shall we? I think I'm definitely getting better at crafting. Everything's making sense. Like, I know what stages I need to, to go through to make something. I know what all the steps are now. Well, not everything, but uh, I'm, I'm getting there. Like, I don't feel like a noob anymore. I feel like there's a lot of stuff I don't know about still, and I still got a lot to learn, but I don't feel like I'm in the newbie stage anymore. I feel like I've passed out of that stage, and I'm on the I'm on the intermediate section where you do uh, most of the, the fine-tuning and improving your tools rather than just making tools. And oh no, <laughs> here I am saying about how amazing I am, and I'm still placing blocks outside of my house. <laughs> it's quite easy to get rid of them, though. You can just do it, like, through it. Right, okay, let's um, put these in my quick select bar. And then, yeah, let's just shove some more torches up in here. I can't remember what I was going to make in here. I need to make some sort of dining room or something, something that I need to make. Because I can make, um, 
I can make a kitchen as well. Oh, there's so many different types of rooms I could do. Uh, I can't remember what I was going to do. I was going to make like a trophy room, wasn't I? So if I, if I can put my mannequin in there, and I can put up some of my armour, and uh, put like you can actually put your armour, I believe, on the mannequin. Okay, so let me put my armour statue in here as well. And I don't know where Hickstorm's gone. Well, he, I can see him, he's just wandered off. Oh no, look, that guy there, he's still there. Was that Milton? He hasn't even got to the house yet. And where's Hickstorm gone? I think he's gone like off the map somewhere. <laughs> he's like adventured my world more than I have. <laughs> it's getting dark though and I'm kind of scared that Milton's gonna die and I'm gonna lose another merchant already. <laughs> let, me, let me go and try and save him. Oh, I don't think he can get up here. I don't think he can get to the house. Uh, do I have any dirt on me? I don't. Let's put down some wooden planks and then hopefully he can be able to jump up. Here we go. Can you can you get up here now, Milton? Can you jump that high? I know you're quite an old man, but come on, come this way. Can I can I trade with him then? Can I just talk to him? If you're not going to come to the hotel, uh, you have no idea how much dirt blocks sell for overseas. Really? You want you want to buy some dirt blocks? Oh, here we go. What can I get? I get a piggy bank. Uh, I can buy an anvil, copper pickaxe, shuriken, wooden arrow. Now there's not much exciting to be fair. Oh no, I think I just bought something. I didn't mean to do that, oh well. There's, there's nothing here I really want. Well, a mining helmet could be quite cool. Um, provides light. Oh, that is very cool, actually. Should I buy one of them? I don't have enough money. I can't afford it. But that, that's something that I can save up for. Um, if you want, mate, feel free to come to the hotel. If you want to stay here and make a little home, then it's up to you. But I recommend coming to the hotel. <laughs> I don't mean to scare you, but the, uh, the last merchant didn't last very long in these parts. <laughs> Okay, so what was I going to do? Yeah, I was going to put my um, my armor statue and stuff in here. Um, right, where is it? Here it is. And then I'm going to put down the mannequin as well. And there's actually loads of different statues you can get. And you kind of just find them in chests and stuff when mining around. Like, there's all different shapes and stuff. So eventually, I, like in my house, I might have some sort of big grand hallway. Uh, just full of all of the different statues I get. I might put my keg in here as well. Just because I don't really know where else to put it. And I've just been carrying it around with me for ages. <laughs> and uh, I might put my my candelabra down on here somewhere. Actually, no, I'll put it in the uh, the magic room. It's quite a magic-y thing. There we go. Doesn't that look nice? <laughs> look at all the, just the random different colours everywhere from the torches. <laughs> it does look like a bit of a mess, doesn't it? Right, how do I put stuff on here then? If I go to use on it, can I just place it on it? Um, it it kind of lights up as if I could use it. Uh, do I just have to go to inventory and then can I put stuff on it? Can I put my armor on it? Oh, what's all this stuff? Oh, I got, I got a shield and a, and a shackle. When did I get that? I got like plus movement speed and stuff. I think I might have got that from the massive eyeball then, I guess. Um, how do I put stuff onto the, the mannequin? Um, oh, I'm just throwing it on the floor. Like it kind of lights up as if I could use it. Uh, but then I can't actually, I can't press B on it or anything. Um, let me go and get like some more stuff. Let me get my bucket or something. See if I can put that on it. Um, where is it? It's this round here somewhere. Here it is. Here's my bucket. I got my other helmet here as well. Let me see if I can put any of that onto the mannequin. I'm pretty sure that's what they do. Like it lights up as if I should be able to use it. Can I press right trigger on it? Left trigger do anything? Well, something I should do actually is set my spawn on my bed. I've not done that yet. Yay! Spawn point set. There we go. So now if I die, at least I'll spawn back in my bedroom. I just need to know how to use the mannequin. If you know how to use the mannequin, uh, please let me know. I don't know if, it, if it's it too close to anything. Is it like too close to that other statue, do you reckon? Let me put it in the middle of the room here. No, maybe I, maybe I need another item or something in order to put stuff on it. Um... I don't know. Seems seems a bit weird. Uh, I'll work that out uh, at some point, though. Uh, I swear there was something else that I wanted to craft quickly before I end the video. Uh, what other materials? I was going to make some clothes, wasn't I? Let me go make some more silk from my loom, which is here. Which is here looming in the darkness. And, um, oh, what was that? Oh, Hickstorm just died, I think. <laughs> or did he just teleport? Hello, welcome back. Oh, he's got me a magic mirror! That's the thing that he's using to teleport. Oh, how do I use that? Oh, and I've got some life crystals! Oh, he, he's done well. He's done better than I did. Let me have the life crystals. There we go. I got more hearts now. And here's my magic mirror. Let me try using it then. Woo! I just I just appear at my bed. Ah, oh, let, let me go far away somewhere and then appear. Zach, get in the house. What are you doing here? Zach, come home. It's night. Well, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go. Oh, no, look. There's an evil demon eye. It's going to kill me. No, it's not. See you later. Oh, why, why wasn't it working? I can't use it. Oh, has it got like a cooldown or something? Oh, or has it used my magic? 
Is that what you reckon it is? Do you reckon I've only got a certain amount of magic and then I need to take another magic potion for me to use it again? Ah, oh, that would make sense. Right, I might as well kill these eyes while I'm here. I, I feel pretty strong right now. I got my new sword and I got some armor on. So I'm not, I'm not so scared anymore. Right, can I use it again? Oh, there we go. And I'm back in my bedroom. Oh, that is so cool. And look, there's another star up here as well. Let me go grab this quick if I can. Oh, look at all these eyes ball eyeballs. <laughs> Get out of it. Leave me alone. I ain't scared of you. <laughs> right. Okay, what was I going to do? Yeah, I was going to make some clothes quick, wasn't I, on the loom. Then I got distracted by new exciting things. Um, right, let me try and remember how I did this. I need to make a load of silk. Uh, there we go. And then how do I make clothes then? Is it in this section, I guess? Um, ooh, oh, I could, I could make like some sort of demon helmet and demon armor if I kill some more eyeballs. Like there's vanity items which only look good. Like they don't actually affect anything. And I kind of want to make some of that stuff. And oh look, quick, while he's inside, shut the door before he escapes. <laughs> right, and get out my house, Googlies. You stay out of it. You can stay in the garden. Go sit on the bench. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to make more clothes. So I'm not going to worry about that uh, for now. Maybe I need to be at a workbench or something. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it was a, a very fast pace and exciting start. And then uh, the pace kind of slowed down for the rest. But I do feel like I've learned a lot in the last two videos and I'm really enjoying myself uh, so I really do hope you're enjoying these videos as much as I'm enjoying making them. Uh, sadly though uh, that is the end of this video but there'll be a link in the description uh, to the next part of my let's play uh, once I upload it. Uh, but as I said sadly I'm gonna have to end this video here but I just want to say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you later. Bye!